big story. All eyes were on the Hyderabad civic poll results, a high-profile prestige contest to decide whether the BJP could sustain a southern surge. And guess what? The BJP is the big winner from these poll results. 150 wards. The final tally, TRS 56, AIMIM of Asaduddin OAC 43, holding on to its bastion. But the BJP has come to 49. The first time the party has achieved double digits in Hyderabad. And the Congress, a big loser, down to just two. Let's give you a sense as to what these results mean in the context of what happened five years ago and why we must see this as the BJP now making a big dent in Hyderabad. These, this is what happened five years ago and take a look at how the numbers now compare because five years ago the TRS was the dominant force. They got 99 out of the 150, they've taken a big hit. They are down by 43 to 56. The AIMIM is a party which has held its own. They won 44 last time, they win 43 this time. So Asaduddin OAC retains his hold, especially in the old wall city of Hyderabad. The BJP has gone from 4 in 2016 to 49 now. So that's a gain of 45 seats, just short of becoming the single largest party, but clearly now the main opposition force in Telangana. And the Congress, which actually gave Telangana by bifurcating Andhra Pradesh in 2014, is now just two seats. What they had last time is all they have. The Telugu Desam has been completely wiped out. So clearly, what we are seeing is a dramatic shift in the landscape of the land of the Charminar. And what it means is that the BJP, which until now has struggled to dent southern India outside of Karnataka, now could well be looking at Telangana as the next big prize. Take a look at just why today was such a significant day in the politics of Telangana and dare I say, national politics as well. These celebrations don't reveal the real picture. Telangana's undisputed boss, K. Chandrasekhar Rao and his party has managed to keep Hyderabad but has lost considerable ground to the BJP. The BJP may not have won the civic polls, but has reasons to be happy. The party, which had just four seats in 2016, now has increased its tally manifold. It has completely squeezed the Congress out of the picture and is in a good position to mount a challenge to KCR in the next assembly polls. The JHNC voters are clearly vexed by the failures of uh, MIM and TRS together. And uh, in our campaign, we have clearly established and exposed TRS parties' manifesto promises which they have failed to deliver. Congress is a dead horse and it's gone. We are the only alternative to TRS now in the state and we are the primary opposition. We were number three, now we are number two. And it will not be too far when we will be number one. The other gainer is Asaduddin Ovesi. His party, the AIMIM, has the best strike rate among the three parties and has held on to his bastion. So people of Hyderabad, that looks like have decided against the divisive politics of BJP and gave us a clear mandate, gave us a mandate for the development and prosperity and the peace that we have shown in city, city of Hyderabad. The BJP has firmly positioned itself as a principal opposition party in Telangana and after Karnataka, the Saffron party now has and the southern state with significant presence. Now the focus will shift to Tamil Nadu and Kerala, which so far rejected the Saffron party with camera person Murthy Ashish in Hyderabad for India Today.